Hello and welcome to another episode of today's Shika. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment today we are going to discuss about objective questions so that you may crack films. So let's begin with the practice question of the last segment. Consider the following statements. Indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant is a part of Atmanirbhar Bharat. At present, India has only one aircraft carrier, the Russian origin INS Vikramaditya. So we have to select these statements which is or are incorrect. None of these statements are incorrect. The correct answer is option D, neither one nor two. Recently, India's first indigenously designed and built aircraft carrier began sea trials of the coast of Kochi. Indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant is a part of Atmanirbhar Bharat and at present India has only one aircraft carrier, the Russian origin INS Vikramaditya. Moving ahead. Consider the following statements. Khadi and Village Industries Commission, that is KVIC, its unique plastic mixed handmade paper got a patent for intervention to recycle waste plastic and the plastic mixed handmade paper was developed under Project Recycle. We have to select the correct statement. Yes, KVIC's unique plastic mixed handmade paper, they got a patent for intervention sorry, invention to recycle plastic waste, okay, waste plastic, whatever has been generated. But the project recycle, under this it hasn't been done, so it is done under project replan, okay. So the correct answer to this question is option A, one only. Recently, we have discussed the recent one and the plastic mixed handmade paper was developed under project replan, that is reducing plastic from nature. So, before we move forward, I would like to tell you about a very good news for the Prayagraj branch. We are starting with our offline physical presence classes from the 7th and 8th of September for Hindi and English medium respectively. To know more about it, you can contact on the numbers of 8929-439-703, 8929-439-703. And 8929-439-705. Let's move forward. Okay. So, consider the following statements regarding the Defense Acquisition Council. It makes decisions regarding new policies and capital acquisitions for the Indian Army, Navy and Air Force. And it also makes decisions for the Indian Coast Guard. The Union Minister of Defense is the Chairman of Defense Acquisition Council. So, we have to select the correct statements. Actually, all these statements are definitely correct. The correct answer is option D1, 2 and 3. The Defense Acquisition Council is the highest decision-making body in the Defense Ministry for deciding on new policies and capital acquisitions for the three services, namely Army, Navy and Air Force and the Indian Coast Guard. The Minister of Defense is the Chairman of the Council and it was formed after the group of ministers recommendations on reforming the national security system in 2001, that is post Kargil War of 1999. Consider the following statements. The minimum public shareholding rule requires all listed companies in India to have at least 25% of their equity shares held by the public and public shareholders in the MPS can be individuals as well as financial institutions. We have to select the correct statements. Both these statements are correct. The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2. The minimum public shareholding, also called free float, rule requires all listed companies in India to ensure that at least 25% of their equity shares are held by non-promoters, that is the public. Public shareholders could be individual or financial institutions and they normally buy shares through public offer or secondary markets. In order to bring more transparency in the working of listed companies, the concept of minimum public shareholding was introduced. Moving ahead, consider the following statements. In 1945, a US bomber dropped the uranium fission bomb, codenamed Fat Man, on Hiroshima. The survivors of this attack are known as Hibakusha. Japan signed the Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons. We have to select the correct statement. Okay, in 1949, 
a US bomber did drop a U uranium fission bomb which was not codenamed as fat man but little boy so the first statement is incorrect and the survivors of this attack is known as hibakushas and yes japan did sign the non proliferation treaty of nuclear weapons so the correct answer to this question is option b to win three Japan marked 76 years of the atomic bombing in Hiroshima on 6th of August 2021. On 6th of August 1945, a US bomber dropped the uranium fission bomb codenamed Little Boy on Hiroshima, a city in Japan. And we have discussed this statement that is next to it and also this one. Moving ahead, consider the following statements regarding the Indus Water Treaty. The eastern rivers including Satluj, Ravi and Chenab came in India's share. The Indus Water Treaty was brokered by the World Bank. India is allowed to use 20% water of the western rivers for irrigation, power generation and transport purposes. We have to select the correct statement. Okay, Satluj, yes, it is an eastern treaty, eastern river that came under the treaty in the favor of India. But Ravi is also there. Chenab is not there. It's base actually. Chenab went to the part of Pakistan. Okay, so Satluj, Ravi, and base are there. And yes, the Indus Water Treaty was brokered by the World Bank. And yes, India is also allowed to use twenty percent of water of the western rivers for irrigation, power generation, and transport. The correct answer to this question is option C, two, and three. Recently, the Standing Committee on Water Resources, in its twelfth report, has said. that the government of india should renegotiate the indus water treaty of 1960 with pakistan in the light of present day challenges such as climate change the sharing formula devised after prolonged negotiations sliced the indus river system into two halves the three western rivers of indus jhelum and chenab went to pakistan and three eastern rivers ravi bees and satluj were portioned to india we have discussed the next two statements so we shall move forward arrange the following islands from north to south seychelles assumption islands tiago garcia agalega island so first in line from north to south comes seychelles after that comes tiago garcia then comes assumption and then comes agalega so the correct is correct arrangement 1 3 2 4 option c is correct Mauritius has denied the reports that it has allowed India to build a military base on the remote islands of Agalega with a government official telling AFP that no such agreement exists between the two nations and the small remote Mauritian island of North Agalega located in the southwestern Indian Ocean 1122 km north of Mauritius the north to south arrangement we will help to understand with this map see Seychelles is here close to maldives okay then we have diego garcia then we have assumption then of course agalega okay so the correct answer is we have already discussed about it so let's move forward rohini commission recently seen in the news is related to which of the following rohini commission is related to other backward classes option b is correct The center will introduce in the session of the parliament a bill to restore the power of states to identify backward castes after it was cleared by the union cabinet recently. The Rohini Commission or Commission for Subcategorization of OBCs was constituted in October 2017 under Article 340 of the Constitution. At that time, it was given 12 weeks to submit its report, but time and again its time period has been extended. Article 340 deals with the appointment of the commission to investigate the conditions of backward castes. Consider the following countries: Jordan, Armenia, Iraq, Kazakhstan, Turkey, Uzbekistan. We have to select the countries which border Iran. So Iran is bordered by Armenia and also Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan is not given here just for you to know. Also Iraq borders it and Turkey, but not Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan and Jordan. Okay? So the correct answer is two, three, five. That is option B. Moving on, Foreign Minister S. Jay Shankar arrived in Iran on Thursday to represent India at President-elect Ibrahim Raisi's inauguration in the middle of a potentially explosive diplomatic situation. 
Iran is a country in Western Asia and it is bordered to the northwest by Armenia and Azerbaijan to the north by Caspian Sea, to the northeast by Turkmenistan, to the east by Afghanistan, to the southeast by Pakistan, to the south by the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman and to the west by Turkey and Iraq. As you can see, here it is bordering the countries of Iraq. Then we have Turkey, Armenia, Azerbaijan. Then we have in the eastern side Turkmenistan. Caspian Sea is also here. We have Persian Gulf here and then Afghanistan and Pakistan. The explosive situation is of course the rising tensions of Iran and Israel. How will India walk the tightrope between it? So let's move forward and talk about our next question. Consider the following statements. The constitution article 105 for parliament and article 194 for state assemblies mentioned two privileges. Freedom of speech in parliament and the right to block the proceedings of the house. Rule number 222 in chapter 20 of the Lok Sabha rule book and correspondingly rule 187 in chapter 16 of the RS Rajya Sabha rule book governs privileges. We have to select the statement which is or are incorrect. So parliamentary privileges under article 105. Yes, it mentions two privileges. First is the right to speech. Second is not to write to block the proceedings of the assembly, but write to publish the proceedings of the assembly. So the first statement is incorrect, while the second statement is definitely correct. So the correct answer to this question would be option A, that is one only. We had to select the incorrect one. The Supreme Court took a leaf out of the experience of House of Commons in the UK and the non-enactment of law defining the contours of privileges and immunities to open a chink in the constitutional shield from prosecution for MPs and MLAs for criminal acts inside the House. Parliamentary privileges are certain rights and immunities enjoyed by members of Parliament individually and collectively so that they can effectively discharge their functions. When any of these rights and immunities are disregarded, the offence is called a breach of privilege and is punishable under the law of the Parliament. The Constitution, Article 105 for Parliament and Article 194 for State Assemblies mentions two privileges, freedom of speech and freedom to publish and the right of publication of its proceedings. Rule number 222 in the Chapter 20 of the Lok Sabha Rule Book and correspondingly Rule 187 in Chapter 16 of the Rajya Sabha Rule Book governs privileges. Moving ahead. Pavlov, Great Sitkin and Semiso Poknoi are the names of, these are the names of volcanoes, option B is correct and three, these namely three remote Alaska volcanoes are in various states of eruption, one producing lava and other two are blowing steam and ash and a volcano is a vent or fissure in the earth's crust through which lava, ash, rocks and gases erupt. An active volcano is a volcano that has erupted in the recent past. The mantle contains a weaker zone known as the asthenosphere and magma is material present in asthenosphere. Material that flows to or reaches the ground comprises lava flows, volcanic bombs, pyroclastic debris, dust, ash and gases and the gases may be sulfur compounds, nitrogen compounds and trace amounts of argon, hydrogen and chlorine. Moving on to the practice question. Consider the following statements with respect to Brahmaputra river. It originates under the name of Siang or the Hang from the Chemyangdan glacier of the Kailash range near the Mansarovar lake. It enters India west of Sadia town in Assam and Dibang and Lohit are its only two tributaries. We have to select the correct statement. So I hope that you will be answering it correctly in the comment segment. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then stay updated and thank you so much for watching.